Oh, I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so I am here to do <laughs> Mary's Northwest. I can't take you seriously, Marty. You waited till we hit record to do that. <laughs> Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, no big deal. No big deal. <laughs> okay. Ooh, now my cheeks hurt. Ooh, well, that's not. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Marty is just going to be so distracting for me. <laughs> okay, I'm getting it all recorded. I know, okay. I know. Yeah, make sure. No, it's, it's always one. a party with Marty, so. Oh, party Marty. I like <laughs> yeah. it. I like it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to post this on Mary's page. So for those of you who are watching it recorded, my name is Tiffany. I'm the consultant for Mary's party, Mary's Norwich party. So thank you for hosting Mary. Um, we are gonna go over some demos tonight about at least five of the products, we'll see what time allows, of the products we've been posting most about. So um, first of all, I wanna talk about Norwex. So we're all about healthy clean, healthy living, safe havens, um, cutting the toxins and the nasty out of your chemicals, out of your home, things like that. So if that's something that you're interested in, Norwex is definitely for you. Um, I cut toxins from my um, nutrition supplements, my, even my makeup, my skincare years ago. And this just kind of fit right in once I fell in love with Norwex about two months ago. So, um, I'm going to show you some of my favorite things. I'm really excited. Um, but I think it's important to know too, not only about the products, but how to use them properly. So I'm going to make sure hopefully to explain it as perfectly as I can. So that everyone understands how to use the products. Cause I've had some people reach out to me and they're like, you know, I have this cloth, but I was told not to get it wet. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Like some people have heard that not to, not to get the cloth wet or not to wash it. I'm like, oh no, no, no. <laughs> so I'll make sure to talk about basic cleaning daily and laundering, like some of the most common questions. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna talk about our flagship item that started in Norwex, our EnviroCloth, okay? So every Norwex product has this famous tag They'll say what it is. So right here, it says EnviroCloth and it, this one has backlock in it. So we're gonna go over that in a second. But the reason why this is better than any microfiber that you're gonna find at the store is three different things. Number one is the fineness. So if you take one of these strands and you look at it, it is a single hair split one two hundredth. So you take your cumin here and you split it 200 times. That's the fineness of one strand. Okay, number two would be the density. They took that one strand and they made this cloth. So this cloth will go from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico in one cloth. That's how dense it is. So you'll see, I have to get this wet in a second because I wanted you to see this is a dry cloth. It's nothing on it. I'm just gonna use water to do my demos, but you'll see it takes a couple seconds to get wet because these cloths are thirsty. They usually hold up to seven times their weight. So I gotta, they're thirsty, I'll get them, I'll get them a drink, okay? Um, but number three is that backlock. That is that silver agent that's in the cloth. It's embedded. You can't wash it out. You can't scrub it out. Nothing. It's not going to come out. And what that does is once the cloth is wet and you've done your daily cleaning process, which is extremely easy, and I'll show you guys, um, you hang it up to dry by this beautiful tag. And within 24 hours, that silver will self-sanitize the cloth. So no mildew, mold, bacterial odors, nothing. Also, it prevents you from needing to launder the cloth every day, every, well, I shouldn't say every day, every time after you use it. Usually we use one cloth one day, it's gotta go in the laundry. This you can't. You do a basic daily clean after you're done using it, you can use it over and over and over again. Some people wash their cloths once a week, some do it once every two weeks, it's up to you um, how soiled they are. You'll notice it'll start to kind of get stiff. And you're like, okay, it's time to wash. <laughs> or maybe you didn't do a very good daily clean or maybe you forgot, things happen. But you'll notice it'll start to feel kind of stiff, not so soft and fluffy. Okay, I'm gonna get this wet. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see me. We're gonna start with our chicken demo, our famous chicken demo. <laughs> so I'm just getting this wet with water. And just wring it out. You don't want it flappy wet. Okay, and we're gonna fold it in fourths. So, so for those math whiz people, Fold it in half, so I have two sides here and then two sides technically on the inside if I unfolded it. So I'm gonna fold it again. So now once I fold it, I have eight clean sides. Eight clean sides to go all around my house and clean whatever I gotta clean when I gotta clean it in one cloth that I can use over and over again. 
I think that alone is amazing. <laughs> so so that looked like them. it, that looked like it, like it absorbed a lot of water. Um, yes. Someone was telling me they didn't like microfiber cloths in general because they're not absorbent. That's not these, right? No, not at all. Even our kitchen counter cloth, right? It's this half sheet of paper towel size. Okay. <laughs> this can hold up to a third of a cup of water. That would take seven half sheets of paper towel. So this, rinse it out. Like when my little one spills, they're always going to spill their little ones. That's what they do. <laughs> so say she spills an entire cup of water. I take this, I clean up her mess, rinse it out once, maybe twice if I have to. Again, clean it daily, which I'll show you guys. And then I hang it up. I can reuse it over and over and over again. Or to pick up a whole cup of liquid, say water milk, um, it would take 21 half sheets of paper towel that you throw away that don't mm -hmm. always break down quick enough for the environment. So, and I always tell people like, remember the paper towel shortage? <laughs> remember going to Costco or our warehouse sale, I should say, and waiting in line just to go get them? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Um, you know, paper towels do have their uses. We do have some here. You know, like if you're going to make bacon, you know, stuff like that, I wouldn't put bacon on these. You know, I'd like to drain off the grease. I would use a piece of paper towel. That's okay. Um, my daughter has a food allergy as well. So my husband still eats for food allergy items. So whenever it's on the counter or something, we have to wipe the counter and throw it away. Like I can't, it can't be in something like this to where she can maybe pick it up and touch it later. So there are some instances for paper towels, but the, the point is to not, um, don't just go throw away your detergent or your paper towels or whatever you're using, because that's even more wasteful. The, the process for me is like a slow, gradual change that makes sense. You have to be realistic. <laughs> Don't throw away something you already paid for. <laughs> so we got our EnviroCloth damp and wet. And I have, look at this, guys. Isn't this delicious? Mm, raw chicken. Raw, nasty, nasty chicken. So I'm just going to. That's how we prepare it, Mary. <laughs> slather it all over your kitchen island. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's very well slathered. Um, but we know how dangerous chicken protein raw can be, right? We know it can cause salmonella, things like that. On our surfaces, you know, we can touch our eyes, touch our face, touch our mouth. You know, that can make us sick. Even eating it, not fully cooked all the way, even can make us really sick. So, um, and I've been doing a lot of research. Protein at a molecular level is very small, so it's hard to pick up. That's why they created, where'd she go? I have to make sure I don't stick my hand in it. <laughs> <laughs> These protein test swabs, okay? These are professional grade. This is what they use to test surfaces, like say we're going into a restaurant just to make sure it's properly cleaned. That's why these were invented to ensure proper cleaning techniques. Um, because again, the protein is so small, it's hard to pick up. And that's what the EnviroCloth and Norwex is. We're not chemical cleaning with toxins and harmful things. We're not using heat because that's not always easy and it's not safe for some of your surfaces. It's mechanical cleaning. We pick up and remove. Those tiny fibers that we talked about, they're star-shaped. So all these little grooves, like the grooves in your fingers, think of all the stuff you could pick up as a teeny tiny fiber. That's why when we're wiping, which I'll do, we wipe flat-handed, okay? And we're just, it's picking up everything. It's removing everything, okay? So that's the side I wiped with. I'm going to keep it facing up so you know. This is, again, that test. You can see it's not open. The liquid is still at the top. I'm just going to slather all over the place. You can see me, right? Okay. Sometimes I'm like, did I move too fast? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to break the top. And there she is, nice and green. Green means clean. Purple means protein. So that's clean. So we know that chicken protein has been picked up from the countertops. It has been removed. Okay. It's in here and it's not sitting on the surface. It's locked in here. And I'll show you. This again is the side I used because the tag was the side my hand was on. We're just going to wipe the towel.
Green means clean. It's clean. It's that is why you can go from surface to surface, cleaning, cleaning, cleaning with one cloth. And again, we have eight sides if you unfold it. And I'll show you. I didn't use fake chicken. <laughs> I try to think about how skeptical people might be. So I will rub the chicken and I'll look at it. Stringy, messy glory. <laughs> gross. Yeah, it is gross. And I mean, instantly it's turning purple. It'll get purple the more I shake it. So real chicken. <laughs> real, real chicken. <laughs> so think of that concept when it comes to all the cleaning that you can do in your home. This microfiber removes 99% of bacteria with just water, picking up and removing it. If you get a glass, just a glass of water, do you want to drink from a cup that's had a chemical cleaner in it? Or would you rather have one where the bacteria was picked up and removed with just water? I'll go with option B. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> that's just me. So that's our EnviroCloth. Again, that's how our microfiber is made. That's our flagship item that started it all. So just remember with any microfiber that we have, you're gonna get the same results. It's gonna do the same thing removing the bacteria with just water. We do have some cleaners and they're enzyme-based, which I posted about. Enzymes are usually natural. They break down things like our mattress cleaner can break down you know, the stuff that dust might leave behind. <laughs> <laughs> I just got your chat. <laughs> she sent it to everyone. <laughs> so, yeah, so just remember that with all our microfiber products. Okay, so every good cloth, every good girl needs a best friend, right? That's the window cloth. Okay, so this is for anything shiny. And again, it has its own tag. It says window cloth, it has the back cloth too. Most of our items have back cloth. There are a few that don't, but they're for a reason, like our netted dish cloth. Have you, do you have one, Mary? The netted dish cloth? Oh, that's on my wish list. She's one of my favorites. I say she. I don't know why. <laughs> she keeps on hinging about these things. Oh, Marty, I know why you're here. <laughs> yes. So, window cloth, windows, shining, right? So, anything shiny, windows, glass, mirrors. Um, I have finished wood end tables that have a shiny finish. So I wipe it with my EnviroCloth to get all my kids sticky, nasty stuff off, including finger paint like today. And then I take this and polish it dry so it's still shiny. Anything finished, don't use it on raw wood because that's going to tear up your cloth. Um, I have used this on like the, the window kind of situation to your microwave, you know, like, I don't know what to call it. I guess it's a window, some sorts of black window though. So anything shiny, jewelry, anything like that. So I'm going to show you guys how I used to clean, right? I have my fancy mirror here. You can see yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and I think for me, I don't like cleaning car windows because you're like breaking your arm, <laughs> trying to get them streak free. Now I don't have to worry about it. So the streaks, the lint, the things that are left behind always drove me crazy. So in bathrooms too. Do you have any messy flossers in your home? Because I do. <laughs> I'm not going to mention names, but someone <laughs> likes to fling stuff all over the mirror. <laughs> so that's what this simulates. I have some toothpaste, and that's what's all over this. So we're just kind of, you know, they're messy. They're messy. So there's our toothpaste. Now, how would I clean this? Oh, I lost my friend, my EnviroCloth. She was right in front of me. How would I clean this before? With glass cleaner and a paper towel. So I'm gonna spray the paper towel. What's on there? And it's not picking it up. It's actually smearing it to where it wasn't. <laughs> so now it's expanded. And not only did I not work, but I have to throw this away. This is a one-time use and it goes in the garbage to sit somewhere to decompose however long it takes, you know? I'm gonna go back to the same EnviroCloth. Again, I have eight clean sides, so I can clean whatever I want with it. And we're just gonna, boom. That's my fingerprints up there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna 
drop it so I'm like gripping it. <laughs> so that's it. Couple of swipes and done. What you're seeing, if you're seeing some striping, is the water. That's from the EnviroCloth. So then we take our beautiful window cloth, shine it up to perfection with no streaks, no lint, nothing. Perfect clean windows at the time. So check out the window cloth. Both of these, the EnviroCloth and the window cloth, there's variations of color on them on the warehouse sale. So check them out. Um, I can't pass up a sale. If you don't care about color, I suggest don't pass it up. <laughs> <laughs> So, and then a cousin, as I like to call it, to the window cloth is the stainless steel cloth. This is two different sides. This side is like a polished soft side, and this side you can see has ridges. So the ridge side is going to help get off like my kids' greasy, sticky fingerprints, stuff like that. And then the polished side polishes up super shiny. Um, I'll show you guys the dishwasher. It is like a mirror. It's so shiny. So. Habitually, before, I was a chemical cleaner. I didn't know Norwex at the time. Um, so I was using a, using a stainless steel cleaner weekly, if not more than once. Because uh, stainless steel is hard to keep clean. I don't know why they call it stainless. <laughs> it gets very dirty. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, I was using it over and over again. And going through the wipes or the spray, whatever it was, I kept using it. I as a cleaner like that, you're applying layers. You're applying chemical layers to your items. So when you go to use this, if you've been a habitual chemical cleaner, like I was, it's gonna come off in layers. Just like when we gain weight, it doesn't come on. <laughs> it comes on in layers, it's gonna come off in layers. Same thing with cleaning. So if you use this again with just water, you might see some streaking. You might be like, oh, that doesn't look very good. Keep going. And don't do it all in one day. That's silly. Because um, it's not like we're having people over anyway. <laughs> we're not right now. But keep going. I think it took, I can't remember if it was five or seven, but it's between five and seven times that it took for my fridge to be clean. My dishwasher was faster. Maybe I wasn't cleaning that one as often. Um, but you'll notice once you get that layer off and you almost feel it, you can feel the spots where there's, where there's no layers and you can feel where there is. So keep that in mind. You try it once, you're like, wait a minute, this is why. So check out the stainless steel again, the cousin to the window cloth, as I say. And then we have our dustman. I think this is so underrated. I love this bad boy. So Norwex likes to be agitated. Don't forget that. So when we agitate, we're building up that static. And then we just pop this puppy on and you can clean anything, anything. I can dust my entire downstairs with one mint. If it gets really messy, like say you're like, whoa, that's really messy. And you know how you get like a trail of stuff on here? You can take our rubber brush and take this and go over your garbage can. And just dust, get it out and keep going, okay? You can also use this wet to do like your window screens, things like that. Um, I got really adventurous one time because, you know, Norwex, 99% of bacteria is picked up from our microfiber. So I... <laughs> Clean the inside of my toilet bowl with my dust bin. And I took my protein test swabs and I checked them and they were green. Green. If you don't believe me, I'll show you one day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just, okay. I was still new and I was like, I just need to, need to find my bearings here. I need to find what I can talk about. And what's worse than like raw chicken and the inside of a toilet bowl? I don't really think much. So, I use my dust. Do I recommend cleaning your dust, your toilet bowl with a dustbin? No, but I wanted to see for myself that the bacteria was picked up and it was, it was. So check out, uh, we have a household package. So it comes with the EnviroCloth window cloth and the dust mitt on the warehouse sale. So check that out again. If you don't care about color, who cares? It's on sale. It's perfect. So we have all this microfiber. How do we take care of it daily? That's the important part. Okay. So you can see, I can get up close. It's kind of sparkling from the toothpaste. <laughs> toothpaste, we cleaned up chicken with this. Say we're done for the day. This is how we're gonna daily clean. So I'm gonna bring you over to my sink here. I wanna show you guys, I came up with this acronym because it just helps me remember. So I figured it helps others to remember too. So remember these cloths will go the distance for you. So FAR, F-A-R-R, fold, agitate, Rinse it out and wring it out. Okay. 
So under warm water is what I prefer. We're gonna fold it, agitate. You can turn it around. Give it a couple seconds, you know? We have to let those star-shaped fibers know to release all the stuff that's in there. Agitate, rinse it, and wring it out. And that's it. You take that lovely Norwex tag and you hang up your item, in this case, the EnviroCloth. And within 24 hours, it's gonna be dry and the back cloth will self sanitize the cloth for me to use again and again, as often as I want for the next several years. Okay, so that's daily cleaning, but how do we care for these on a weekly or bi-weekly basis? Well, you're gonna want a good laundry detergent, something with no fillers, fragrances, no bleach, things like that. Why? We have this wonderful cloth made with these awesome fibers with backlock. We don't want those fibers clogged and we don't want the backlock coated because then your cloth is not gonna work like it's supposed to. So we have two different detergents. My preference is the UPP, as I call it, the Ultra Power Plus detergent. It's a powder. With this, it comes with a scoop. To use this in my machine, there's a cup that says remove if you're using a powder detergent. So make sure you check your machines to see if you do have a cup or something like that. Um, but I'll just read this. It's biodegradable surfactants, no phosphates, no sulfates, no SLS, SLES, no chlorine, no bleach, no fillers, no obstacle brighteners, no animal testing, which is huge for me, um, no dyes and no fragrances. There is no smell to this. And some people are like, how do I know if my clothes are clean? Because there's no smell. <laughs> if they were not clean, you would smell smell. <laughs> so just remember that. But if you're someone who likes that clean laundry smell, we do have an odor eliminator. This has several purposes. One is to use for your laundry. This is just the teeny tiny size. So if you're using it for your laundry, you can use this where your fabric softener goes and you pour it in just a cap full into your machine with this. And this scent is called crisp linen. So you get your clean laundry smell, okay? But let's go back to this. Um, if you're on Mary's party page, you're gonna see that I love this stuff. A, you can take a teaspoon of this with water. Every eight ounces of water gets a teaspoon and you can create an all-purpose cleaner. This is important for me because I have granite countertops and you have to be careful what you put on granite because the sealer and it's natural stone, you don't want it to ruin the finish on them. So I use this. I use this every night after I'm done doing the dishes for the day. I spray my stainless steel sink. I let it sit there while I'm wiping off my counters. And I don't have sink stink, as I call it. You know how sometimes after you've made eggs or something with raw chicken, I smell a smell in my sink, but now I don't because this cleans out my sink. Um, you can use some of this dissolved in warm water to clean makeup brushes because we don't want bacteria sitting on our makeup brushes that will cause us to have breakouts. You can use this in your carpet shampooer. Um, but I think the biggest thing for me is the laundry because my daughter has a bleeding disorder and she bit her tongue a couple months ago. I forgot how long ago, but she was bleeding for 16 hours and I kept her in one outfit because usually I just have to throw it away. And I had just gotten this and I'm like, I need to try it. So I put two teaspoons in my washer and I threw all her laundry in and I forgot to hit start. <laughs> So then nightgown sat there with blood on it for 30 hours by the time I remembered to hit start. And again, with two teaspoons of this, it got all of the blood out. I put all the pictures on the party page because I just couldn't believe it. My family is never gonna be without this. <laughs> Take grass stains out, anything like that. You can make a, like a concentrated version of this with just like a little bit of this and some powder. So you have a set in stain or we have a stain remover if you like to go that way. But this has multiple uses and it's so powerful. It's awesome. We use again, two teaspoons per load. So one bag of this will give me 300 loads of laundry for 30 bucks. That's almost a laundry, a load of laundry every day for a year for 30 bucks. I'll take it. So that's <laughs> it. Check that out. Um, there's like dryer balls, things like that because dryer sheets are awful. <laughs> Chemicals and really harmful things. So if you're looking to replace those, check out the dryer balls. There's a plastic version on a warehouse sale or there's 100% wool ones, um, either plain or the other ones have like cute little oranges on them. So check those out. 
Um, I want to show you really quick the detergent we used to use. This is what I would use for a medium load and a little bit of water because it was a lot. Um, this stuff sits on your clothes. It doesn't all flush out. So that's what's on your clothes. Here's another popular brand. This is what Norwex looks like. You can even see my fingers. And it's not just water, there's some in there. But that best just impresses me because my kids have a lot of sensitivities, food allergies, things like that. I don't want to add anything extra to them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the fifth item that I'm going to show you right now is our cleaning paste. I have two different versions of it, okay? Um, and I'm showing you the Safe Haven 5 package. So if you're interested in several different items, check out the collection section of the website because you can get a couple bucks off when you buy more items. So the fifth item in our Safe Haven 5 is the cleaning paste. This is marble flour, natural soap, and coconut oil in a paste. It's chalky. Because you're like, why do you call it paste? Because it's chalky. You have to add water. So I'm going to take our EnviroCloth, I have to get it wet because she kind of started to get a little dry on me. So just added a little bit more water to it. And if you have kids or a daycare, <laughs> I'm sure someone got into something they shouldn't at one point or another. Maybe they found a Sharpie and they were writing on stuff. You know, you just never know what can happen. My kids have. So I'm going to take our damp EnviroCloth and set this down so I don't drop it. My damp EnviroCloth. And I'm just going to rub the paste. That's why it's called paste, because it makes the paste once it's wet. So you'll see it's on there. Guess how many swipes it's going to take? Mary knows. <laughs> One for Sharpie. And this is ceramic tile. Not just a fancy piece of paper. Promise it's time. And what got the uh, nail polish out of your carpet? This is what got six week old nail polish out of my carpet. Six weeks. <laughs> and I had tried, um, my father in law had like a cleaning company. So I was like, what do I use? You know, my husband's asking, like, what do we use? And they're like, you know, all these things. And I was desperate. I didn't have Norwex at the time. So I was trying everything, and my house smelled horrible. My hands broke out in an awful rash. They like burned. I wonder if it was like some sort of chemical burn, not severe, but they were very agitated, <laughs> irritated. And this is when we had like that negative degree weather out here in Northwest Indiana. And it was, it was, a, <laughs> it was so cold. And I had to open my windows because it smelled so bad. So, so bad. We're talking about cleaning paste. <laughs> so, you know, we might not all have tile. I don't have tile in my house. I bought the special from Home Depot <laughs> because I needed it. This is what I have. This is this luxury vinyl flooring that everyone's going through because it's waterproof. And you know, like we got pets and stuff. So I'll just show you really quick Sharpie on this. I'm gonna get a little bit more cleaning paste. And this, if you have a texture, like this has a texture. Yeah, you can see it. So you're gonna rub with, with the green. And this takes, ooh, this takes a little bit of work to rub through all those teeny tiny grains. And it comes off. Just so like how did you use that on your carpet? So I used the cleaning paste. I actually got a toothbrush and I would put, I would dunk it in water. I would put it in here and kind of make a little bit of the paste on here. And then I used our rubber brush to take it and then I just scrubbed it into the carpet fibers. Then I would occasionally wipe it with this because again, this is going to pick up and remove. And then I, I think I reapplied it three times and I got it out. It was a decent sized blotch. <laughs> and it's yeah. not- what? I showed them to Marty. Yeah, yeah. Mary told me. <laughs> a light color. It was, it was like this color purple, if not worse. <laughs> is she out of detention yet? Oh, oh yeah. It was, no, I did it. it you did it. I did it, yeah. Okay. I had that nail polish aside because I switched over to a different brand. Um, I do no chip, so it just sticks on to me. Um, but I set this stuff aside for my girls because they're getting older. They're going to want to clean their nails. And I put it in a Ziploc bag and I put it on top of a shelf in a closet 
for down the road. And I was in the kitchen and I heard this big crash. I'm like, what is that? And I even opened the closet door. Well, the bag was hanging, you know, like the little metal peg and a bifold door right on the opening. So it was just hanging on that metal thing. And then when I opened it, it just ripped. So it had shattered in the plastic bag. But when I opened the doors, I ripped the bag open. So it was. Uh, too bad they didn't have color street nails or something like that. <laughs> I do have color street nails now. <laughs> <laughs> I do have them now. But I was just like, it, it was just amazing to me how fast it happened and how awful it was. Yeah. Cleaning case got it out. Now we also have a mini edition. So you'll get this travel case if you like it, but they made the cleaning paste that's usually in this as a cream. So they made this easy to go because in order for this to work, you need water, you need a damp cloth or something. Well, this paste you don't. So you get the cleaning paste in a cream. They give you a brush for scrubbing and you get a travel size Enviro. So say you have like a boat, camper, things like that. You just need it in the car sometimes. Um, they have this cute little cleaning set. Cut out too. Since you do Uber, Marty, you might need that sometime. Yeah, uh, yeah actually, yeah. <laughs> like, the, car, oh. the car is used, so there's already some stains on the on the upholstery. Oh, check out. Um, you could use, if you have the detergent, you can make the spray again. It's one teaspoon per eight ounces of water. You can use this with the damp and viral cloth. Um, people are going to town even with this and the rubber brush on like their car mat. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mary's Mom and Dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's Marty's. <laughs> You're on mute. We can't hear you. Sit, sit down. You can learn something here. She's going to make you clean up anyways, Lou. So you might as well listen. I have a little graphic I share with some of my friends, and it says... you got to take the dog away from me, though. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> okay, there I am. Um, may I ask a question? In the middle of my screen, there's a big thing that says this meeting is being recorded. How can I get rid of that? I think it just says, okay. No, it doesn't. It says continue or yes. leave meeting. Continue. Continue. I hit that. I hit that. It doesn't go away. Oh, uh -oh. Okay. Yeah, It just left. She hit it the first time. Okay. I, I think she missed it last time. Quit okay. I just want to say hi, hi to the Mary and Marty. Hi, Lou. Hey. Martino, what's hey. up? <laughs> listening. <laughs> Tiffany yeah. is doing a wonderful job explaining oh. these things. I got, oh, really? I got carried away. I was like, oh, what am I talking about now? <laughs> what is it that we're doing? Fingernails? No. 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 <laughs> No, this is Tiffany. Yeah, Tiffany oh, does Norwex. Oh, cleaning. Oh, yummy. I like that. Especially Everyone's with the dog. Do Everyone's got to do it. We do have pet items, too, speaking of dogs. <laughs> do you have manly floor cleaning products? Manly? Is a mop and water. Oh, no, that's women's stuff there. Yeah, what? everybody's got to clean. Oh, the mop no, is, this is all natural stuff. I know. I do. I do. I hear Lou. She said the mop, the mops are blue and green, boy colors. Oh, blue is good. Wow. And it picks up all your dog hair and germs off the floor. My our dog doesn't shed. We don't need off the floor anyway. <laughs> Killing me. Okay. Bye bye. Hey, you, can, you can go back to mute now. Oh. <laughs> You can take him if you want him. You just got to talk okay. louder than them, Tiffany. That's all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I want to talk about the counter cloth and box set. This is like the biggest thing for me because we had talked about paper towels. Um, these are the size of a half sheet of paper towel. Again, they hold a third of a cup of water per paper towel. And then they also have the backlock. And we're switching over. You'll see this one says recycled. So this is made from recycled uh, plastic water bottles. That's how they are forming these now. A lot of products are being switched over because we're all about healthy environments. <laughs> we're trying to create healthy havens with uh, less damage to the environment, right? So check out the counter cloth and box that it comes in this cute little house. 
And some people are like, okay, the house is a little much, but there's a reason. So after you dry your hands off or whatever you're gonna use this for, basically anything that you would use a paper towel for, cleaning out messes, spills, clean your stove, countertops, whatever. Again, I wouldn't put like bacon grease on here, <laughs> things like that. And don't use these as pot holders because they'll melt because they're made of recycled plastic. So don't use them as pot holders. Um, but say you're done using it, it's wet. You put it right on top of the house. You put a roof on the house. And then, oh. it, <laughs> and it can dry. Um, and then as it's drying, that backlog goes to work. So it's gonna self sanitize within 24 hours. So no mildew, no mold, no bacteria odors. You don't have to worry about it. So check and how, much, how much uh, liquid did you say those hold? A third of Bing. a cup of water in, in one. Then again, you rinse it out and go back to it, you know, depending how big your spill is. <laughs> but you use them over and over and over again. And over and over and over. I love these so much. I created my own special for May. So there's only a couple days left of this, but there's three different colors. This one's blue. This one has like a gray and a brown and a gray. This one has brown, purple, and cream. So it doesn't matter which color you get, but I put them on sale for $53.99. So if you're interested in this sale, contact me because this is not from Norwex. This is not on the website. I have to adjust it on my end if you want to order them. So let me know. There's a couple more days. What do we have? Three more days? Yep. Wow, May's almost you say, open. You say those last uh, several years? Yeah, there's usually a two-year warranty on our items, um, but as long as you're caring for them properly, they can last eight to 10 years. Okay, so that's comparable. I, I spend 10 to $12 on, on a uh, six to eight pack of paper towels every time I pick them up. Okay. And I pick them up maybe every six to eight weeks. So I'm spending okay. four... 40 to 60 dollars a month a, a year anyways uh on this so yeah so in two years that would be like 120 dollars versus 50 dollars or 40 dollars right so even if it's only a two years. year i still save money but if it's 10 years i, I come out ahead i think we lost <laughs> your mama i'll watch That's if she okay. tries to come back on I'll watch. <laughs> yeah but I, think I was doing that for her benefit too, because, you know. Yeah, it's a I, huge savings. It is. Yeah. And it's, it's a lot easier. It's more convenient. It's less waste. There's a lot of pros to it. A lot of pros. But I love these guys. You'll notice the size is textured. So that's what these are. I want to show you guys while we're talking about it, some kitchen cloths and kitchen towels. Because Mary, as a host, these are some items that you can earn for every buying guest that you get. So this is the counter cloth, again, half sheet of paper towel. This is the kitchen cloth. And I just wanna show you the size, if I can get it, there we go. So this is the kitchen cloth, so it's a little bit bigger. This side is like the fabric of the Enviro cloth. And then this side is that same, almost popcorn texture like this. Okay. So several uses, drying dishes, wiping things off. The kitchen towels are made 30% less dense than the Enviro cloth because you don't want to hold all that stuff in from kitchen cleanup. You know, you want to rinse it out. You want it to come out real good <laughs> in the sink. So it's made a little bit special just for kitchen messes. So again, that's the kitchen cloth and then the kitchen towel. I call it like the size of a hand towel. So it's, it's pretty big. Let me layer these three so you can see. So, I, I have a question too. Oh, wow, that's different. Yeah, yeah, they're big. <laughs> okay. Um, so, currently, we use a um, washcloth and uh, dish soap for our dishes. So, is okay. this something we would not use dish soap for? We would just use the wash towel? So, I would say no. Uh, number one, there's a special kitchen cloth that we have. It's called the netted dish cloth. I was talking to Mary about this before we got started. It looks like nothing. It literally looks like a piece of net, but it's huge. This is one of the items that don't have backlock in it for that reason. A lot of people don't want to switch their dish soaps. They want to keep using what they're using. But if you're using it with one of the ones with backlock, again, if it has fragrances or dyes or fillers in it, it can prevent the cloth from working properly down the line. Because that's the same thing as the detergent. We don't want something that will coat the backlock, 
or to clog the fibers, the star-shaped fibers. So it's kind of tricky. So this cloth is especially for those who want to use whatever soap they want to use. This is made so that nothing sticks in it. And when you use it, you're kind of folding it and you're just using it just like a washcloth. It's big for that reason. Um, crock pots or Instapots, I'm a crock potter, but I know Instapots are huge. And when you let something sit in there for hours, like a pot roast and a crock pot for eight hours, that rim around the edge gets really stuck on. It's baked on, it's cooked on, or if you're cooking, I have stoneware bakeware. So if you're cooking on the oven, things get really caked on and you have to sit there and scrub them off, break a nail or something to get it off. This does all the work for you. I don't, sometimes I would have to soak my crock pot overnight, come back in the morning, scrub it down. I literally soak it for maybe three minutes. I use this and everything comes off. It's amazing. How do you wash this? With soap. You can use dish soap. We do have a dishwashing soap. Um, it smells like Sprite to me. I like it. Some people are not a fan, but I think we all have our preferences. But I like our dishwashing soap, but you can use whatever soap you want. <clears throat> and again, this doesn't have backlock, so you don't have to worry about it, you know, the cloth not performing well in the future. So there's two ways to wash it. Take your soap. Remember, Norex likes to be agitated. So agitate it, rinse it, wring it out, hang it up. I just kind of drape mine over my faucet and let it dry. That's it. You can launder this, put it with your microfiber when you're washing it, put it in the washer, dry it in the dryer. Or once you're done doing dishes and say you're gonna start your dishwasher, lay it right on top of your top rack and turn on the dishwasher, it can wash in there too. So super okay. easy to take care of this. And this comes in a pack of two. If you are going to use the uh, soap to wash dishes, you can use this. A lot of people use these or like the cloth, they use this, but make sure you have a good dishwashing liquid, something again that won't damage the fibers, coating it, blocking the fibers, anything like that. So it's a trick question. <laughs> that was a trick question. <laughs> so just like you clean the counter with just water, if I were to clean like my cereal bowl and spoon and stuff just with water and the Enviro cloth or the kitchen cloth or whatever, would that, is that sufficient? You can, you can, that's based off preference, but it will remove 99% of bacteria. I prefer soap, but that's just me. Okay. That's just me. But if you can clean a toilet with just water, why not your, why not your dishes? <laughs> so yeah, some people like our face and body cloths. Can I put one out? Of course I uh, our face and body cloth, this is a mini size, but this is the same concept. Your skin is a surface. It's a large surface that we need to maintain. If you don't want to use soap, you can just use this in water. That's it. And that's kind of hard for people to like wrap their heads around. Um, but I have one girlfriend, her husband was kind of a stickler and he was like, I don't know about this. And he loves them now. He, he'll rave about them if you ask him. <laughs> He's a huge Again, if you don't want to give up soap, you don't have to. Um, you can use this again with a clean body soap. Norwex has one as well. You can check that out. But the face and body cloth this has a gentle exfoliation too. So you can wash your face and exfoliate your face and your body. Um, Marty, not that you care, but Mary, <laughs> there's makeup remover cloths that have no exfoliation. There are micro suede fabric. So it's just like suede gliding across your face to remove your makeup. And they don't provide any exfoliation. So that's nice for someone who has really sensitive skin or like around your eyes, if they're ir easily irritated, um, you can check out those two. Or there's facial pads, which is basically this on one side and the micro suede on the other. So there's a lot of options, literally something for everybody. <laughs> everybody, get it? Face and body. <laughs> I did that, I just did it. <laughs> um, I wanna talk about bathroom cleaning because it's not, <sighs> the most enjoyable thing to do, right? So we have a bathroom cleaner that I absolutely love. When you get it, it comes with a top like this and it also comes with a screw on pop top. So you pop the top, you can do a bucket flush into your toilet, which you just take a bucket of water and pour it in and the bowl will empty, right? So there's barely any water, maybe a little bit at the bottom. You take this, you pop the top and you squirt around your toilet bowl, let it sit there. Go and clean the rest of your bathroom. Again, mirror is gonna be in viral cloth and window cloth. Your sink, if it's shiny, again, EnviroCloth window cloth, your faucets. If you get to your tub and you're like, whoa, I might need a little bit of help in here. There's a bath scrub mitt. It's almost like this, but rectangular. So it's soft on one side and the other side is scrubby. 
you pop your hand in and wash your shower walls. If you need a little bit of help, that's where this can come in again. You take an ounce of this to seven ounces of water and you can have an all-purpose bathroom cleaner. So you can spray this on your tub surround. If you have something on your sink you need to get up, that's what this is for. Outside of your toilet, if you want something, again, that's what this is for. If you have really hard soap scum or really hard water stains, that's where the descaler comes in. This is like the bathroom cleaner on steroids is what I call it. Um, if you soak a really dirty penny in this, in like 30 seconds, you'll have a super shiny penny. I think I have one actually. Shall I do it? <laughs> do it. <laughs> Hi, Sister Reed. Welcome. Thank you for coming. How are you? Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> You're welcome. Hi, Brother oh. Souter. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Doing good. I'm going to show you my penny, guys. It's rather brown. <laughs> <laughs> so, Capri. So, I'm going to take the descaler, and this one comes with a spray bottle. This one you don't dilute. So, a lot of our items are dilutable. So, when you get a bathroom cleaner, so this is 12 ounces. And if I'm just using this as an all-purpose bathroom spray, so it's one ounce to seven ounces of water, I'm gonna create 12 different bottles of bathroom cleaner from one bottle, because they're concentrated. So again, saves money. So I just have a glass, little glass cup right here. I'm gonna put my penny in. I'm gonna squirt some of this descaler in here. And we're just gonna let that sit just for a wee bit and just see and put my lid back on because I have a, I have a good track record of spilling things <laughs> I don't mean to <laughs> so that's just sitting in here um, I want to talk about a couple of the other different things there's a fresh produce wash I absolutely love this stuff you guys um, I love corn like fresh corn but you know when you leave it in the package it goes bad pretty fast same with, you know, any fruits and veggies, berries, things like that. Things are not getting cheaper from what I can tell. Um, the last time I went to the store, blueberries were almost $4 and they weren't like organic. Like, what is this? <laughs> Why? I need my fruits and veggies to last. When I buy something, my kids will be like all about strawberries. And then the next week they could care less. So I need things to last. When you use this, it's one tablespoon for every two cups of water. You can create a spray with it. If you're, excuse me, if you're doing like, um, <coughs> I got a tickle, sorry. <laughs> if you're doing um, like broccoli or cauliflower and things like that, you can use the spray. Mm. There we go. I had to wet my whistle. I've been talking forever. Um, but if you want to use a soap, which is what I do, I go grocery shopping. I come home, I bring everything home and I give everything a bath. So the strawberries, blueberries, everything goes in one bath. All you do is let it sit there for two minutes, two minutes rinse it off. I lay out my huge kitchen towel, the big one, and I let them dry because you don't want to put wet berries in a container in the fridge. You don't want that kind of moisture in there. My fruits and veggies are lasting like two weeks. Like it's been huge for us. So I'm in love with it. I'm going to show you, I'm not for sure how long I've been talking for, but I have to show you this penny. Look at this. It's all shiny. It's like Ooh. true, brown. right? And it was like pretty brown before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seconds. So that was a big imagine, difference. Yeah. Just imagine what you could do for your bathrooms or wherever you have hard water. Maybe you need to do a bucket flush for your toilet. You have hard water stains in your toilet bowl. You can spray that in there too. Let it do the work for you. <laughs> okay. So we talked about our veggie wash. There's a microfiber cleaner booster. So for those who are keeping their towels really well maintained, they're doing like a deep soak, like four times a year. You can also use this in laundry. Um, this is the dishwashing liquid, which is what we were talking about. It smells like Sprite. My cat broke because I dropped it. See, told you I'm really good at dropping things. <laughs> but that's the soap. Um, I'm loving our dishwasher powder. See, I almost dropped that too. Dishwasher powder and rinse aid. So this replaces your tabs or whatever you're using, this replaces your rinse agent. So you put that in there. This is amazing. It's helping people who have a lot of buildup in their dishwasher too, because it's enzyme based. Um, there's also an oven and grill cleaner. 
summer's eventually coming, whether Northwest Indiana gets it together or not, but it's eventually gonna come. It's eventually gonna be grill season. You're gonna wanna clean your grill before you do it um, or your oven. So you would, for your oven, you preheat it to, I think it's a hundred, yeah. A hundred and then turn it off, wait five minutes, spray this in there and let it sit. And then you go in and wipe everything down. Same thing with your grill, heat it up a little bit, turn it off, spray it, wipe everything down and it does all the work for you. There's a couple of things to use with these for scrubbers, uh, as I call them. We have three options right here. Number one, this is our heavy duty guy. This is our spear in it. It's 100% stainless steel. It will not rust. Um, you can beat this thing up. It may not be the prettiest shape, um, but it'll definitely keep doing the work. So I did this and clean the inside of my oven. You can use this on things that aren't easily scratched. So again, your oven doors, uh, inside your oven, on top of your stove, outside on the grill, this is your guy. The ones that you find at the store are some cheap metal that's coated in stainless steel that will rust and you just kind of throw them away after a use or two. These go forever and there are two of them for six bucks. So check out the spear net. Another item, if you're worried about scratching your surface, is a spheri sponge. This is non-resist and non-scratch and non-abrasive. Um, if you're ever worried, test in an inconspicuous area first but this is what you can use to clean up, or this is the Enviro scrub. So it's Enviro cloth on one side and scrub on the other. Can you hear that? This is the texture that's on the bath scrub mitt too. So there's several options. Um, this comes in a pack of three, this comes in a pack of two, this comes in a pack of two. Um, when you get these, I like to keep two downstairs in the kitchen and you can save one for your bathrooms even. So there's a lot of uses. There's not just a strict rule of you can use this here and this here. It's just based off preference and your needs. So that's why if you have any questions, you just let me know. <laughs> okay, last thing I have to talk about is the mop system. This is the biggest, most wanted item Norwex has. And June is mop month for hosts. So if you host a party in June, you can earn your mop system for free, okay? There's different options if you're buying them outright. Um, there's colors, as we were talking about earlier. This one's pink and gold, <laughs> but there's a blue and green one. So in the superior mop system package, you're gonna get the telescopic mop handle. Okay, it can stretch up to almost six feet. I'm five nine and it's right above my head. So it's almost six feet. So if you have high windows or things like that, that's what this is for. Um, we have an Enviro wand for dusting. You pop this handle off and you attach it to the base of this and you have a six foot duster, which is huge for me if you have like ledges and things like that. Um, also, while I have this here, there's a little brush in here for those nooks and crannies, your keyboards, things like that. That's at the bottom. It's just nifty. They've like thought of everything. Um, again, this is a duster. So if you have this, do your ceiling fans. So say you have a shelf, you fold it to dust yourself, your shelf, you fold it again for your ceiling fan. So you're doing not only the top of the blade, but also the sides. Cause you know, if you just wipe gonna hang off on the side. So that's why it's on the side. So check this out. Again, it attaches to this. Um, again, back to the mop. When you get the mop system, you get the mop handle. This rubber ball at the top is not just for decoration. You can get scuff marks off your floor. This ring right here, if you lower the mop all the way down and lock it, which is just by twisting, it'll sit on the edge of your countertop. Say you have to walk away. You don't wanna leave a wet mop pad sitting on your floor. It just balances there, just hangs out. Okay, so you'll get the mop handle, you'll get the base, it comes in a large or small, this is large, and then you'll get two mop pads. Dry replaces your broom, and then the wet one replaces your mop. There's two ways to use the, mop, the wet one. You can take a water bottle and spray your floor, slap this puppy on and just go. This is the EnviroCloth on stick. So think about that. You just remove chicken protein off your countertops, with that. Imagine what it can do for your floor, just water. Okay. Or you can take it to the sink, just like the EnviroCloth, get it wet, wring it out a little bit, put it on and go to town. Super easy. When you're mopping, you're going to want to make sure this mechanism is unlocked. See this little lever right here? Because you're going to do a six or eight motion. So you want to unlock. I have to adjust the height again. So you just step on it. Can you see my foot? Where's my foot? Right here. <laughs> so you step on it, twist it, bring it up to where it needs to be, twist it again to lock it, 
And when you, you're using your broom, <coughs> not pad, you're doing a figure eight motion all around your room. It's super fast and super easy. And then you might have a little bit of debris in front of the pad, just like you would with a broom, a real broom. So you just grab a damp and fire cloth, wipe it up and throw it away, no big deal. Once you're done, you'll have a lot of stuff stuck in here. And that again is when the rubber brush comes into effect. So you take this over your garbage can, scrape it out, everything comes out. You can use this again and again. You don't have to launder it after every time. Because let's face it, dust brooms are gross. <laughs> <laughs> hold a lot of stuff this doesn't again you just peel this off and throw it in the dryer washer dryer um i will say when you wash your microfiber you're not going to wash it with linty items i use a whole load for my microfiber because i have enough of it but maybe you don't and don't just wash it with um linty sweaters fluffy blankets don't do things like that you can wash it with like bedding like sheets if they don't have a like a lint to them you just don't want lint to get in these because it's hard to get out. So keep it lint free in your washer and dryer. Okay, so check out the mop system. Um, there's again, several different options based on color, whether you want large or small, if you want the rubber brush with it or not, or you can host a party in June and try and earn it for free. So check that out. Last thing I'm gonna talk about is specials. Um, Mary, I think, are you aiming for June or May? June. Okay. So if you order now in May, you can have May specials. So May specials, there's a couple of ones, sunscreen, a lip and cheek balm. There's a tech cloth, which is amazing. Amazing, you literally spritz it with water. The one side, I don't know if you can see it well on here. It's got all these tiny dots. Those are rubber dots to keep your hand in place. Because when you're rubbing a screen, you don't want your hand to slide. So you just spritz the cloth on the smooth side, wipe your stuff, it's streak free every time. My husband That's for like TVs and computer screens and stuff. Smartphones, smartwatches, you name it, a screen, laptops, because everything's touch screen now, right? So that's in here. This is also beard oil. I think they did this for like a Father's Day kind of thing. Because <laughs> I'm like, what does a tech cloth have to do with beard oil? <laughs> but they did it. Um, and then they did a special edition bath mat if you're looking to replace yours. They did a May, so all of these are May, right? So in May, so if you purchase before May 31st at noon, um, if you spend $99, you can get the fresh produce wash, which is what I talked about earlier, making my fruits and veggies last about two weeks for 12 bucks instead of um, 25, so say you 13 bucks. If you spend 125, you can get this cute little turtle. He's called Pet with a Purpose. So he's got that microfiber top to it. You set them on your counter and your little kids can come and pet their turtle while they're drying their hands. Again, removing 99% of bacteria. Pretty cool. And he's, he's pretty big, that turtle. Um, again, until June 1st, again at noon central time, we have the mask sale. So you buy one and get one for 15 bucks and then they donate one. So up to right, as of right now, last summer I saw it was 100,000 have been donated. So there's one kid size, and then there's three adult sizes. So that's our masks. Don't forget the counter cloth sale. That's mine. So if you want to take advantage of this, contact me because it's from me, not Norlex. Um, there's also the warehouse sale. There's a couple of items that have already sold out. Um, so check on it and get them while you can. This is the Enviro cloth. It's green, it's $15.50. This is a window cloth. It is $16.50. This is that household package I was talking about. You get a viral cloth, window cloth, and a dust bit for 45 bucks. That's what I got. It's amazing. You have a car wash mitt. No, I think that's the one that sold out. I apologize. But there is a blue one, regular price. So check out the warehouse sale. And then for June, so Mary, if you're keeping it open in June, which we can talk about, we have June sales, which I just have. Did I lose them that fast? Yes, I did. Okay. June, they did a special edition counter cloth box set with it's like a gray, purple, and blue. They did a odor eliminator, which is crisp linen, so clean laundry smell, and a sport sign spray. So if you have like a gym bag or something that's got a stinky like helmet, sports gear of that fact, um, you spray it with that and all the stink is gone. Um, they brought back a limited edition window cloth, cupcake printed, it's adorable. I have it, of course. And then they brought back the bamboo cloths. 
I haven't had this one yet, but it's like the EnviroCloth, but extra scrubby. And then they did an optic scarf in the special pattern with a hand cleaner. So those are the customer specials in June. So you buy in May, you get May specials, you buy in June, you get June specials. And then this is the June host rewards that Mary is going to try to earn. So there's four levels of earning with Norwex. Number one, for how many guests? You, you get something for three guests, five guests, eight guests, and 12 and up. Um, the second star is for a percentage of, of your sales. Once you get 250 in sales, you get 10% of your sales. If you get up to 750, you get 12%, which is another way you can earn a MOP system. It doesn't have to be MOP months. You get an item or two for every booking you get. And then this is the biggest one. This fourth one right here is what Mary's going for. Mm -hmm. So it's only one booking and at least three buying guests. And if she gets a 350 party, she'll get the laundry detergent and an oven and grill cleaner with all these other benefits. If she gets a 550 party, she'll get the detergent, the oven and grill, and the small mop system. If she gets a $1,000 party, that's a large mop system, and then the detergent and the oven and grill. If you already have the mop system, but you want to host, there's an option B. So this one is the same detergent, oven and grill. This one has some body and face cloths with some, uh, what is this? Oh, the day and night set. And again, the detergent and the oven and grill. And then with a thousand dollar party, you have these two items here. So all of this or all of this option A or B in June. Cause May is over. <laughs> over. Um, and then we get a new catalog coming out in August. So look forward to that too. But that's all I have for you guys. Was it long enough? <laughs> <laughs> I <finally made> it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course. Do you guys have any questions for me? Any questions, Marty? No. Mary sat and talked to me about this a lot. <laughs> Good girl. <So. laughs> We went through silver and we had our discussions about the silver backing and things like that. Yeah. Um, Cause awesome. I, we, we use, uh, we use, when I was in the pool business, we used to use silver to help with bacteria control there. Yep. yep. Found in nature, can't be that bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Sister Reed, you joined us towards the end. Do you have any questions? Um, I'd like to find out about the bacteria part, and I know you said you're recording it, so I don't know how I would be able to see the beginning. Is she on your Facebook page? Are you on Facebook, Sister Reed? Uh, I get on there every once in a while just to look at the kids' pictures. <laughs> I'm not a, a fully-fledged Facebook person all the time. Okay. But if you, have an, if you have an account, I can send you mm -hmm. a link to my party okay. page, and that's where we're going to post this, right? We're going to post yeah. it to my party page. Okay, yeah. that'd be awesome. Okay, but I'll talk about it real quick. I don't want to leave you hanging. But okay. <laughs> so that's what our backlock technology is. So you'll see on like the product tags, you'll see it says backlock. Mm -hmm. That is again the silver agent that's embedded in the fibers of the cloth. So you can't mm -hmm. rinse it out, you can't rub it out, you can't wash it out. It's in there. Um, the far method is what I recommend for daily cleaning your cloth because after you've used it, you need to do a daily cleaning. Underwater, you're gonna fold, agitate, rinse, and wring. You'll hang it up by this tag. And as this is drying, that backlock technology goes to work and your cloth will self-purify. So no mills, no mildew, no molds, no bacterial odors because of that um, silver that's in there. Wow. No smoky that's rag smell. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's interesting to me because I'm always nervous about you know, keeping cloths. You know, you use them and use them and use them. Yeah, we were talking about that before. When mm -hmm. you've had them for so many years, you're like, you're, these are clean. They're just not white anymore. <laughs> <Right. laughs> they're not white. <laughs> I always feel like they're spreading bacteria. If you use them on one thing, you use them in one area, then you use them somewhere else. Then, you know, I'm oh, always thinking that. Reed, yes. This is for you. <laughs> <laughs> you. That is what Norwex is all about. We are mechanically uh -huh. cleaning. So our fibers are star shaped. So when we wipe, we wipe flat, you know, the star mm -hmm. surface, we're going to wipe flat and those star shape, those grooves pick up and remove things. Mm. So they're not spread around. We're not putting mm -hmm. a chemical on there to kill the bacteria, to leave it there. Mm -hmm. um, if you're using 
disinfectant wipes or other sprays like that, it'll tell mm -hmm. you on the back of it, A, it's hazardous to humans and animals, and B, you're, after you use it, you have to let it sit there somewhere between four and 10 minutes based on the yeah. product. Mm -hmm. and you're supposed to go back over your surface with soap and water. Oh, wow. To remove the toxins. So mm -hmm. if you're not doing that, which I never did, I right. never back of it. And it's just, I just saw wipes and that's how I used it. And mm -hmm. they're actually, we're not using them properly. If you're mm. okay with using them properly, that's totally fine. If you're looking for something with no chemicals, just water to pick up and remove, mm -hmm. um, as you'll see in the demo, when you go back and watch chicken, raw chicken protein with just mm -hmm. water. Really? Um, yeah. And I even swabbed the cloth with a, with a special protein test and it's not sitting on the surface of the cloth. It's in mm. the cloth. That's why it's prop to do the proper daily cleaning is really important. And when you're doing that, you're letting it dry. The bath lock is self-sanitizing. You can use the cloth again and again. Some people only launder their Norwex microfiber once a week. Some people do it every two weeks. It's totally up to you. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for that information. Yeah. And check out Mary. We'll make sure we get her invited to the page and I'll post this as soon as we're done. And, um, You'll be able to watch it. <laughs> okay. But yes, um, and then, yeah. And then if you ever have any questions, um, I can put, can you see the chat, Sister Reed? Do you know the how the chat? Let's, let's see. see. I'll text you or I'll put in here my number. The chat. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see your number. Perfect. So write that down. If you have any questions okay. or you need a recommendations for something, don't mm -hmm. don't hesitate to reach out. Okay, and what and I heard you say you're going to come out with a catalog. Is that coming out where we can see it? I know we're all still, you yeah. know, staying home, but yeah, I can actually if um, I'll put what does it come out? Oh, June second is the deadline. So June second is the deadline to be on my catalog list, uh -huh. and then they mail out April sixth. I'm sorry, August sixth. So okay, um, can you we'll, we'll stay in contact. I'll get your information and your address and I'll make sure that you're added on the list to get the new catalog. Okay, that would be awesome. Then that'll give me more time to look at it and read, you know, the description of each item. Yeah, and my website I can also put in the chat. It's Tiffany Tolba. I have a okay. funky last name. <laughs> at Norwex. Let's see. Biz. Tiffany Tolba. Nope, I did it wrong. Look at me. Tiffany mm -hmm. Tolba dot norwex dot biz it's hard to type i think it's up high all right there we go tiffany tolba that's my first and last name dot norwex uh -huh. biz that's my that's website right. that you can go and look at everything there's a ton of information on there um, okay so no too, but make sure you text me so that i have your number otherwise i don't have it <laughs> okay what did you just say hon i'm sorry i was looking at your name <laughs> No problem. I just said make sure you text me or send me uh -huh. send me some sort of message, whether it be in the Facebook page once you get on there too, so that I can find a way to contact you. Okay, that'd be awesome. Okay. Well, it's nice to meet you. Yes, you too. You too. I always have my camera off, so they know I always keep my camera off. So I have to leave mine on. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's, That's okay. okay, Sheila. That's fine. We just like having you with us. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks yeah. for inviting me, Mary. You're welcome. Yeah. I'll send you that okay. link shortly. Yeah. Okay. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye, bye. Bye. Okay. And I think I reclaimed host already. Yes. So I can stop recording. I have to go get my charge card. I'll be right back. Oh, Mary, I think it recorded on yours. Record on this computer. So if you put me back as host or um, just for a little bit, if I can stop recording it, will it have recorded over here? On yeah. my okay. I'm like, whatever you do, don't log off. <laughs> um, make host. Okay, so you are now the host again. Okay. Yeah, it was. So do I do stop recording now? Yes, yes.